this is a whole group of dinosaurs and this is the group of the dinosaurs that I'm going to show you some are dinosaurs and some and the rest are I'm gonna show you the the not dinosaurs first uh, there is a human an elephant that's it that's not a dinosaur the Trinosaurus Rex is the, is the third tallest one in this group because there's one that has like a bump on the head so it's a little bit taller and there's and that one's right by it and then comes the Apatosaurus and that's the two the three dinosaurs that I can spell the names and then comes the Triceratops. The Triceratops has horns, it's orange. And that's why the T-Rex is the meat-eating one. It kills Triceratops, any dinosaur that gets in its way, and when it's hungry. So, bye. Hi, my name is Thomas Nunes. I'm here to talk to you about dinosaurs. Dinosaurs lived over millions of years ago. There were different kinds of dinosaurs. Today I'm going to talk to you about the most ferocious dinosaur, the T-Rex. The T-Rex lived during the Cretaceous period. It ate other dead dinosaurs. It didn't like to run to catch its prey because it couldn't put it up to its mouth, so it just had to bite the prey while it was dead. The T Rex weighed 6.5 tons. Its height was 12 meters. It has 200 bones in its body. Nobody ever found the full skeleton of the T Rex. The meteor hit the earth, then the temperature fell down and the dinosaurs died. The T-Rex um, didn't like was one of the ones that ate all the other dinosaurs. But the other dinosaurs did not like the T-Rex. The he was one of the fastest dinosaurs. His teeth are about two or three and a half inches long. Nobody ever found his skeleton because nobody ever knew where it was. They just be the scientists just believed where it was. They didn't know where it was. They just wanted to know where it was. But the T Rex skeleton was never found. Thank you for watching. Bye. This video is by Thomas and Mika. Newness. This is a picture of the T-Rex running for a dead prey with its mouth open. A T-Rex would like eventually catch its prey by just waiting for it to die and then it would catch it so then the prey would not like to be it and the other ones would just get away from it but he'll catch up to them because he's a really fast dinosaur there is no t-rex that is a full skeleton well this is a skeleton of the this is the skeleton of the T-Rex. The T-Rex was a really good dinosaur until it started eating another di uh, all the other dinosaurs. Then, well the T-Rexes are like vultures. Like vultures like to eat dead meat. T-Rexes don't like to catch their prey when they're alive. They just wait till they're dead. Like vultures. And then, that's why T-Rexes eat meat. One tiny T-Rex can take down a 
Brontosaurus. And he's one huge dinosaur. So, that's pretty awesome. Or T Rex, that's 11 feet tall. T Rexes lived during the, Cre the Cretaceous period. People think that the dinosaur became like this, a skeleton head fossil. Everybody thinks that it got extinct by the the other dinosaurs eating each other's each other. But that isn't true. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about the T Rex that lived during the Cretaceous period. It wanted to eat every single dinosaur and be the king. It succeeded but then started killing the other T Rexes. So this T Rex I just made it myself. I customized it, but it's a picture from the internet. I just customized the motion and then I put it on shiny mode. And so it became like that. This is a really true fossil of a T Rex's head. Okay, this is a T-Rex tooth, it was found in a fossil. The T-Rex's tooth is used to help it get its prey into its mouth. It doesn't chew the prey because scientists think that it has two stomachs. They think that one stomach chews the food and then it sends it into the other stomach. Nobody has actually seen a real one, so they don't know if it has really two stomachs. They just think that it has two stomachs. It just used the teeth to help it because it just swallowed it whole because it's, it's first stomach will, will chew the food for it. So it just swallowed its prey whole. It didn't have to eat the prey while chewing it because it just swallowed it. The T-Rex swallowed his prey because the T-Rex had teeth that help him only get the prey, not chew the food, just help get the prey. The prey is his food. He just likes to eat dead dinosaur meat because he doesn't like catching the prey. The the tooth that I'm showing you right now is a really big tooth. It was found in a fossil. It's around 18 centimeters or three and a half inches. That's probably about six centimeters, probably. I'm just guessing. And it's around there. The teeth, this, te this tooth is a brown tooth found in a fossil. It's brown because it was found in a fossil. And the fossil was brown, so it made it stay brown. The tooth of the T-Rex is about as fat as your finger one of your fingers like your ring finger or your pointer finger it is a really big finger um it's a really big tooth so the tooth is the thing that helps the T-Rex get its prey. Bye. This is the T-Rex's skull. It is red because that is the only picture that I can find. You can see that it has a big mouth, big teeth that are two and a half, 
and a half or three and a half inches long. They only found the head of the T-Rex's skeleton. Nobody has ever found the other part of the skeleton. It was a ferocious dinosaur but died um, during the Jurassic period. It wanted to eat all the dinosaurs. Some people think that the T-Rex was the reason that all dinosaurs were dead. But everybody thought that the T-Rex ate all of the dinosaurs and then they just the T-Rex just started killing each other. And when the two, last two T-Rex started killing each other, they both died. So there was no no ones left. But the truth is that a meteor hit the earth then the temperatures flew down and then all the dinosaurs died because of the low temperature they couldn't stand the low temperature so the only one that survived was the crocodile and then